Hello, my jewels, and happy Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. Yes, it's the weekend. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to reduce breakage in your hair. Now, you can be relaxed like myself. I am relaxed, okay? On transition, I get a few women that transition from relaxed. They are subscribed to my channel, and they're having um, little problems with a little breakage and dryness, okay? So this video is for those who are having problems with their hair um, breaking off. So I'm gonna tell you ways to reduce the breakage, okay? Um, you can also be natural. I have a few naturals that follow me as well. So this video is for everyone, okay? So first I wanna thank everyone who are here today. Thank you so much. And those of you who are coming later, thank you. And I hope and pray that there's something that I say or maybe that you see here on the channel later that will get you to come back for more. If you have not subscribed, Click on that subscribe button back there, okay? Press the bell. Make sure that your notifications are on so you won't miss any of my videos, okay? Now, first things first, we're going to talk about how to reduce breakage, okay? I'm not going to be on here long. Um, I do know that you have to know your own hair, okay? And while knowing your own hair, you really have to buy products specifically for your hair, not anyone else's hair. So don't go out there buying products that other people are using and you know doggone well it's not working, but you're using it anyway because their hair is <laughs> all the way down here. Don't do stuff like that, okay? You buy products specifically for your own hair, okay? All right? Also, I do know that if you use um, silk and satin fabrics on your hair, this will be gentle on the hair more so than any other fabric because any other fabric is not gentle on the hair and it can also dry our hair out and break it off, okay? We don't want our hair to break. So our hair is growing, but we don't want it to break off as fast as it's growing. You, you understand? So we don't want to do that. We want to see some, some length, you know, we want to retain that. So in order to reduce that, you have to wear the right fabrics on your hair when you're laying down. Now, some of you told me that you didn't like to wrap your hair up at night because you get hot. You can buy silk or satin um, pillowcases. I do have some. I know my girlfriend, um, she doesn't like wrapping her hair up. She does lay on silk or satin. She'll pull her hair up in a pineapple or a bun and she'll sleep like that and she's good to go. So if you're one like her, then just get some silk satin pillowcases, you know, get a few of them and then sleep on those like that, okay? But these designer scarves and stuff, I, they're not silk or satin. You need to start wearing designer silk satin scarves, all right? Okay, so this will help reduce the breakage. It will also be gentle on your hair. And lastly, this video's not gonna be long. Lastly, protein treatments. Now, we do, we're relaxed, okay? We do need proteins in our hair because protein treatments help to strengthen our hair, to make our hair strong, to build our hair, our hair up, and it also eliminates breakage, correct? But using it incorrectly can cause problems down the line. So if you're using protein treatments every single month, that's too often, and that's why your hair is brittle and dry. My hair was getting a little dry, I would say maybe two or three inches up, my hair was dry on the ends, you understand me? So what I had to do is cut back from that and I was talking to a professional. She told me the same thing. She says she don't know why people on YouTube are having these women use proteins on a monthly basis. So if you're getting a relaxer once a year, this is when you should use a protein treatment once a year. You're getting a relaxer twice a year, same thing. You get my drift, you can see where I'm going? So use protein treatments wisely. Okay, don't be hasty about using protein treatment because they can really mess your hair up. They really can. And then you want to cut it all off looking like your husband or your cousin, you know, all of these things. No, you don't have to do that. Just use them wisely and that's it. Okay. Um, also, deep condition your hair more often. This will help to hydrate your hair and this will stop your hair from drying out. Okay. All right. If this video is helping you, give it a thumbs up, okay? And also, before you leave, don't forget to press that bell. Make sure that your notifications are on. And also, don't forget to subscribe back there, okay? All right? Also, don't forget to share my videos, all right? Thank you guys so, so much. 
in the Lord's will, you will see me in the next video. God bless you. Bye.